It rubs the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told. Mister, my family will pay cash. Whatever ransom you're asking for, they'll pay it. It rubs the lotion on its skin, or else it gets the hose again. Yes, you will, precious. You will get the hose. My name is James Kirk, and um, I wrote a song called Lotion that is based around the film The Silence of the Lambs with my band Greenskeepers. I'm looking down the hole, you're looking up at me. You're cold and tired, that is easy to see. Lower the rope to you, a bucket on the line. Your membrane will be soft and smooth, and your heart will be mine. It rubs the lotion on its skin. And the rubs against the hose again. It rubs the lotion on its skin. It was a very cold film, especially to teenagers during that time. Nick and I, our singer, used to skateboard together, and there was always just a Silence of the Lambs joke thrown in here or there. What we liked about Buffalo Bill, and what I suspect, what most people that made that film such a cult was just very juvenile. A serial killer is the ultimate kind of bad guy, you know, in real life. Just the catchphrases and how weird he was, it was just fire and fuel to mess with your friends with you. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans a nice Chianti. at that time and I had a way I can't remember how I did it but I used to be able to record off VHS my computer into Final Cut so I made a music video for Silence of the Lamp or for, for Lotion it was one of those things that was like as soon as you saw it you had 10 people that you wanted to send it to for them to check out as well you know I think it had millions of views before YouTube was even up and counting views like that and that's what kind of put that song and our band at that stage on the map. We were kind of a viral hit before viral was a thing. One of my, my favorite things in, in watching any performance um, uh, uh, on film is when there's not a lot of cutting going on, when you get a chance to become really absorbed um, in, in the artist at hand. One of his assistants emailed me and said, hey, by the way, Jonathan Demi saw it, he loves it, he thinks it's really funny. And at first I was really scared, you know, the first sentence, hi, I'm Jonathan Demi's assistant, I was like, oh shit, we're gonna get sued again. Um, but it was a real pleasant surprise that he really liked it and appreciated it. I was just a guy from Chicago hustling, trying to make something happen. We, we couldn't obviously go shoot a music video, it was cheaper just to steal the footage and try to make something happen, you know? That song, Lotion, and obviously that film, is such a big impact in the film world. I think it kind of helped even open the door for me as a music supervisor, as a composer, because for some reason, even though it's not true, the people in the industry felt like I was more connected to film than I really was. There's always a lot more activity now because of Halloween. Like, I can see the streams go up, and like when I look at my publishing and all that stuff, everything during October is like 10 times more than it is throughout the rest of the year. A lot of people covering that song for Halloween, I guarantee it.